Welcome to the third installment of Engineering Notebook Crash Course, this time with special guest and my good friend, Oliver. Today, we'll be teaching you how to whip up a well-organized engineering notebook. After this video, navigating your engineering notebook will be a piece of cake. So let's get cooking! <laughs> Neat! According to the recipe given out by FIRST, you will need these four things. A table of contents, a section about your team, a summary page, and all of your documentation. This represents your table of contents because it contains everything else. This should outline sections of your engineering notebook and highlight notable pages, such as a turning point in your design. Now this represents a section of your notebook about your team. This should include some of your team's goals and a page about each team member. Each individual page should have basic information such as their name, age or grade, and their role on the team. This represents your summary page. At the start of each meeting, you should write down a quick list of things that need to get done. And then, as they're completed, write a quick summary next to them of what you did. Everything else is your documentation, the guts of the notebook. For everything that you accomplish, you put an entry in the notebook that describes the task that you did. You put in any information or data that you've collected, as well as conflicts that you've run into and your successes. Even if you think something's irrelevant, it's important to put it in because your readers might think it's important. Put the cake in the oven and bake over the course of a season. When the timer goes off, remove your engineering notebook from the oven. Hopefully, we've given you a few helpful tips on how to create a successful one. Join us next time for how to create a clear and concise entry. And remember, you've got to do the cooking by the engineering notebook.